Hey everyone, it's Dr. Rick, founder of Herbal411, and today's unboxing is on beetroot. So I have both gummies and capsules. The gummies I found at Sprouts, so I was in Dallas, and I was going to do a video on the store, Sprouts, S-P-R-O-U-T-S. -S. It's kind of like a mini Whole Foods, and, but they didn't want me filming, so I grabbed this supplement. Now, it's a little more bare bones. It's bigger than a Trader Joe's if you live in Illinois, but it's smaller than Whole Foods. However, it's, it's, it's very economically affordable, more so than Whole Paycheck. And it, they also have a bunch of good stuff that they have available. If you're just flying into Arizona or Dallas, I think you can give it a try. When I first started training with the Arizona Center for Integrative Medicine, one of the doctors would take us to Sprouts and have us go through the aisles and try to figure out what we're supposed to buy on our own. That has translated since 2012 to me knowing the details between what is good, what is bad, how do you judge a study or at least figure out if a study has its weight in knowledge and if it's a reliable or what do you do when people can't afford fancy blood testing and they just have medical disease. So if you are not a patient of mine, please click off because this is only meant for patients. Uh, and if you don't have a doctor, please consider subscribing to me and or joining me with Lifestyle Change. Integrative medicine has always been a passion of mine and I used it initially to get myself healthier. But the way I would probably use the beetroot, well, I, I do it now, is honestly, this is helpful for increasing nitrous oxide. I'm not gonna show any studies. I've, that takes up too much time, but beetroot, you'll hear about people grinding up beets, eating beets all day, and I think that does help uh, if you can go the whole food approach, but if you can't because you're slimming down or you're on a, a caloric deficit, or if you just don't like beets and you're lazy to prepare them, I think it's important to consider the supplement. Uh, again, I alluded to the spoiler here, and beetroot is helpful for increasing nitric oxide. And how does that help? It, it's not for your engine. It, well, technically it's for you, this engine here, but if you can get a decent amount of signal into the bloodstream with using beets, the objective is to increase nitric oxide production. Nitric oxide production in the bloodstream is helpful for facilitating the strength and the endurance of the lining of blood vessels. So most of you probably know that with the microbiome and the gut, you have to have several layers and then you have to have slime biofilm and you have to have probiotics and you have to you have to do all this stuff to build the lining of the gut, that hollow tube, the gut to work better and digest better and poop out what you don't need, byproducts of metabolism more efficiently. Well, the same thing is true of blood vessels. If a blood vessel is a, a tube, an empty tube, you can't just think of it as a live tissue that, that tolerates the, the velocity of fluid going through it with each heartbeat. You have to think of it as a living organism. And the lining of that blood vessel, whether it's an aorta, a capillary, or a vein, the lining is live. It's, especially in the capillaries, it's only one cell thick so that your blood cells, your red blood cells can deposit oxygen at the most distal places from the heart, fingers, eyes, brain, heart itself, muscle. If the lining is not built to take the shear force of the velocity going through it, then you're going to wear away at the lining and cause inflammation. And that's the beauty of this stuff. If you have nitric oxide available and you have a decent amount of what's called a glycocalyx, I have done videos on glycocalyx, it's really interesting. But if you have a decent amount of glycocalyx, if you have uh, nitric oxide, then it makes the lining of all the blood vessels slippery. If the lining is slippery, then you have a better functioning tube system or carrier system or highway for red blood cells to get where they have to get to, which is essentially from the lung where they get oxygen to the cells where they deposit the oxygen, pick up carbon dioxide back to the lung where they deposit carbon dioxide and you breathe it out. Now, if your lining of blood vessels cannot tolerate the pulse of your heart going every second, or if you're exercising pulse of your heart going two to three times the norm, then you're going to shear the lining. And when you shear the lining, you cause tears. When you tear the lining of blood vessels, you have cholesterol that deposits, and that is the beginning of your plaque. 
And for those of you, I'm not talking about plaque in the teeth. Plaque formation is when uh, rogue cholesterol, and I'll talk about that in another video. I actually have done another video on LP little a, when rogue cholesterol gets put into the lining of the blood vessels by mistake because of high blood pressure, because of rents or cracks in the lining, tears. And when that cholesterol gets into the lining, then the white blood cell goes in there and says, hey, you're not supposed to be there. Let's engulf it. And it stays there as a complex called a foam cell. And that thing just continues to build up and build up, build up. Now, if you've ever seen a hose, technically you can't really, you can force a bubble into an old hose. But if you see the bubble on the outside of the hose, there definitely is a bubble on the inside of the hose. When you bubble off the inside of the hose, you effectively decrease the diameter of the blood vessel, no blood flow, heart attack, stroke, bingo. So that's where this beauty comes in handy. The only problem that I found with sprouts from Dallas and Arizona, the only problem with the gummy, because it's easy, you don't have to take any fluids. Look at this gummy and you tell me what you see. Here's a gummy. You see that? What do you see around the gummy? Sugar. Why are you putting sugar on a gummy? I mean, is it for kids? Okay, fair. You can bargain with the kids to take your gummy and have a better workout so you don't have any plaques that form. But why? In fact, here's a label. So if they're so healthy, I don't like this product. So it's a big thumbs down. Sorry, Sprouts. Big thumbs down on two things. Number one, the sugar on top of these. Number two, for not letting me film in the store. So... As far as nature's way, I love nature's way. Green top, purple top, yellow top. There's different gradations of um, purity. The green top's fine. I would do beetroot twice a day, not only to increase nitric oxide, but it also helps lower blood pressure. I was doing this video mostly for blood pressure. Uh, I don't have enough time today. I'll have to do a blood pressure video maybe tomorrow or the next day. But if you do have high blood pressure and you do have... Uh, history in the family of heart disease and or you're a cyclist or you want to get a bigger charge in the morning and or the middle of the afternoon with energy i would do the beet root how many two two just take two in the morning maybe two in the afternoon when you crash like most of us do at about two or three and no side effects now there is a price and this is not too expensive but i would do that twice a day as a regular dose if you do have heart attack, heart disease, if you're on nitroglycerin, you have to be careful. Increasing nitric oxide when you're on nitroglycerin sometimes causes blood pressure to drop precipitously. That's why if you take Viagra or uh, Levitra or any of those erection pills and then you get nitroglycerin, you're going to fall. So that's a mandatory avoidance. So if you do take any of those medicines, you have to ask your doctor. And you have to ask your doctor anyway, especially if you're not one of my patients. Ask your doctor if this is okay for you, if this pertains to you, because this is not supposed to be a substitute for medical advice. And if you don't have a doctor that listens, or you don't have a doctor, a period, come see me. I see people uh, virtually. I see people in person in Hoffman Estates. I can help you make those decisions to continue driving. If you need prescription medicines, I'm an MD, so I write prescriptions, but I work on lifestyle first. And that's the most important thing. So hopefully this gives you a couple of ideas. This will be a no. This will be a yeah, it's worth a try. Blood pressure, heart disease history, whatever it is, give it a try. Let me know how you feel. If you've taken beetroot before and you like a certain brand, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you at the next video.